Hi, my name is Jason Bear. I'm the owner and head distiller here at Black Button Distilling. We're a New York State farm distillery, which means we take locally grown grains and turn them into locally manufactured spirits. We make vodka, gin, bourbon, and a bourbon cream liqueur, and I'd like to show you how we do that. We start our process off with 1,000 pounds of grain, grown on Edgewood Farms down in Groveland, New York. We're gonna add that grain to 500 gallons of water from Hemlock Lake, and we're gonna raise that temperature up to 195 degrees. After opening up those grains, we're gonna cool it down to 130 degrees, where we add malted barley. It's gonna convert our starches into sugars in the same natural process that a plant uses to sprout. Kinda of like that lima bean you grew in biology class. Then we're gonna be ready to pump it into our fermentation tanks. Welcome to our fermentation bay, home of our six 750 gallon stainless steel fermenters. After we've moved the mash into the fermenter, we'll add our yeast, and they'll work for five days to convert those sugars into alcohol. As they do this, they'll create waste heat and CO2. That CO2 will off-gas into the room, make the distillers a little loopy, and we'll whisk that heat away by running cold water through dimpled jackets on the back. Over five days, the yeast will convert our mash into a 12% alcohol by volume corn beer. Basically, think a regular beer, a corn muffin, and a shot of vodka all mushed together. And I know you're sad that we don't serve it that way, but we're going to show you how we turn that into the products in the bottles in front. Here at Black Button Distilling, we practice what's called double pass distillation, which means everything goes through our still at least two times. We're going to pump that mash into our pot still, cook it to 210 degrees, and drive all three alcohols through our pot, through the pipes, and over to our condenser. When I say three alcohols, what do I mean? Our yeast actually produces methanol, which makes you go blind, ethanol, which makes you feel good, and propanol, which gives you a hangover. We're gonna work with our columns in the middle of the still to cut out the bad two and keep the best stuff. Once we've collected two fermenters worth of raw alcohol, we put it back into the pot still, heat it up much more slowly this time, because now we're gonna separate out the different kinds of alcohol. We'll drive it through our four plate whiskey column or our 16 plate vodka column, depending on what we're making that week and it's pretty much the same process for either one. When I say plate, think of an upside down dinner plate or the top off of a boiling uh, pot of pasta. We get a condensation effect where the steam actually hits that plate, rains back down and drains back to that center pot. But as the steam heats up that plate, eventually the steam gets around the first plate, hits the second plate and rains back down. When it rains back down, it builds up a layer on the first plate, a little lake of alcohol, and as the steam pushes through that lake, it bubbles or redistills, separating the lighter molecules and the heavier molecules into two different directions. Lighter molecules moving up the column as a gas, heavier molecules moving down the column as a liquid, where we're able to break everything out exactly by boiling point. We do this four times for whiskey, 16 times for vodka. That's why whiskey comes off the still with so much flavor, and vodka comes off the still with so little flavor. But now that we've separated out the alcohols, passed on the methanol and propanol, We've got a tank full of finished ethanol ready for our proofing process. Once all the whiskey has come off the still, we'll collect a sample and use this hydrometer to determine the proof, proof being two times alcohol by volume. With that, the weight of the container and a little bit of math, we're able to figure out how much reverse osmosis water to add to our product in order to bring it down to our bottle strength, or in this case, 84 proof. 84 proof is what we believe will cause our spirits to taste the best in your tasting glass or in your cocktail. So the only spirit we haven't talked about so far is actually my favorite. It's bourbon whiskey. You can make bourbon whiskey anywhere in the continental United States as long as it's 51% corn and aged in a new charred American white oak barrel. Ours happens to be 60% corn, 20% wheat, 9% rye, and 11% malted barley. And it's the hot days and the cold nights as it pushes in and out of the wood and really extracts its color, that sweet wood sugar, and filters through this charcoal layer that gives bourbon its velvety smooth taste. I wanna thank you for coming on this tour with me of Black Button Distilling. Thank you for enjoying our tasting room and I look forward to seeing you very soon.